At O&H Danish Bakery in Racine, there's a special ingredient baked into every pastry. Tradition. It was started in 1949 by my grandfather. He immigrated to Racine from Denmark as a young man. Eric Olesen is a third generation owner of the bakery, now celebrating 73 years in business. Like you reference, it is simple. Yeah, we are just taking ingredients and we're forming it into something that's really good. So simple, I have to give it a shot with O&H's head baker, Wade Nelson, who started a summer man? job here as a teenager and never looked back. The love of baking. It all started when I was a child working with my mother, though. While not giving me too many of his secrets, Wade taught me how to fill the Kringle, roll it into that familiar oval shape. It's not really an oval. It's some shape. <laughs> it's round. Think I have a future in Kringle making? Uh, obviously. Okay. I, it's, a great one. This season to celebrate, a new Christmas cookie's Kringle flavor is putting a new twist on a generation's old holiday tradition. It's a butter cookie filling and it's flavored with vanilla and, and then we put that in the filling and, and we fold up the pastry around it. Then of course it's time to top it with all of that sugary goodness. And we ice it with very festive looking and generous decorations that just make it fun and fancy. and. You make it sound so simple. Oh my gosh, that's a lot harder than it looks. I think you mastered it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I did something to it, I don't know. Our Kringle has created so much tradition that our customers, we have customers that drive in for miles and miles around. And sometimes they'll bring a suitcase with them into our <laughs> store and they'll pack up the suitcase yeah. with Kringle. Kringle by its design is a sharing pastry. What do you think that uh, resonates so much with families around the holiday time, with Kringle, and with the tradition, with the culture? Yeah, it's, it's you know, as, as busy as Christmas season is, there's so much tradition, so much anticipation. Again, I think it, it kind of goes back to what we all strive for internally is, is just those moments sharing good times with family and friends and traditions are a part of that because it gives us good things to look forward to and to do again. Uh, making Christmas cookies is one of those traditions. Uh, believe it or not, even in my family, at home we have a tradition of making Christmas cookies in our kitchen with our grandchildren. So we've made this Christmas cookie kringle at O&H to celebrate that tradition. I decorated that, first of all. Let's start with that. Wow. How, how is that? Awesome. You're a generous guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know. Too much frosting, right? Too much frosting and too much filling. My first shot at it, I don't think it did pretty bad. Yeah, I don't think. That was pretty fun. <laughs> look, I was about to say, look at that. That's pretty perfect. I mean, I don't see a difference. Uh, should we cut the Kringle? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How much Kringle do you think that, you, that you've eaten in your life? Uh, a lot more than you probably think. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I do love Kringle. There you go. Got that. All those layers of butter I in know. there. You can, you can see them, you can kind of feel yeah. it. And what was uh, the, the term that you used, the moment in the day when you take the coffee and the... Uh, huga. Huga. Yes. Huga. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that. Or in Dan Denmark they say skål. Skål? Yes. Yeah. A tasty treat too. Now they tell me the holidays are their busiest time of the year. They're making thousands of Kringle and shipping the product all over the country. And Jaren, it looks like you have a greater appreciation for what it takes to produce such a treat. I'll tell you, it's not as easy as it looks. A big thank you to O&H for the special access.